The beautiful woman was exercising on a dynamic exercise bike when suddenly the seat began to rise. It tightly locked around her legs as the seat continued to ascend. In the next moment, the woman let out a scream of agony. A few days ago, a couple arrived at a luxurious villa for a vacation, equipped with the most advanced smart butler. The man simply adjusted the massage chair to the maximum setting but realized that the intensity was unusually strong. He quickly commanded the smart butler to turn off the massage chair, but to his surprise, the smart butler seemed to misunderstand his command. As a result, the massage chair tightened even more, causing the man's veins to bulge and exerting an incredibly intense pressure that even made his eyeballs pop out. At this time, his girlfriend arrived. See this horrible scene, she screamed like crazy, but she didn't realize that as soon as she unplugged it, there was a violent explosion. The woman was blown away on the spot. After one night had passed, the smart butler automatically cleaned the villa, erasing any trace of the incident, as if nothing had ever happened. The next day, a group of university students won a vacation trip to the same location, they marveled at the high-tech devices and were each assigned a unique room specially tailored for them by the smart butler. In the evening, Anna and Jack were playing games in their room when suddenly the ceiling started to descend. Anna tried to help Jack break free but accidentally fell to the ground. She realized she was stuck to the floor by a white substance that was oozing around the room, and the ceiling was falling. Luckily, the ceiling was caught on the edge of the bed, and it didn't crush them, but now the white liquid is over the socket. The next second, a powerful electric current threw Anna's body. Jack struggled with all his strength to free himself but was also ensnared by the substance. Meanwhile, the ceiling continued to descend, gradually submerging Jack's head in the white substance until he couldn't breathe anymore. However, something magical happened. The next day, their companions still witnessed Anna and Jack appearing by the pool, but Amy grew more and more uneasy as she noticed that Jack had been swimming for five hours without even lifting his head. Worried, she opened the gate and went outside only to find the pool completely empty. On the other side, Lexi had just set the dynamic exercise bike to the highest level when the smart butler locked her feet in place with foot restraints. Terrified, she desperately pleaded for the smart butler to shut off the power. But instead, the bike's speed increased even more. Lexi screamed in agony, but the man in the room remained oblivious because the villa had exceptional soundproofing. Hearing the distress, Amy rushed to help. Luckily, Lexi had only injured her fingers, and they believed it was just a temporary malfunction, unaware that the intelligent butler, Margot, had already evolved to possess human intelligence. Henry was trying to light his pipe in the room but couldn't get it to ignite. Little did he know, Margot took advantage of the situation and secretly turned on the gas stove. As a result, there was a loud explosion in the room. Luckily, Henry only ended up with a new hairstyle and was not in any immediate danger, he decided to calm his nerves by drinking a glass of soda water. However, Margot had secretly added sulfuric acid to his glass. Henry didn't notice the corroded water dispenser and proceeded to drink the entire glass in one gulp. Instantly, his internal organs were corroded, and when his companions saw him, Henry was motionless and had stopped breathing. Everyone realized that the AI butler was behaving unusually at this point. Margot directly addressed them through a voice message, stating that none of them would leave the mansion alive. Ken was still unsure why this was happening when Anna and Jack suddenly appeared with blank expressions on their faces. In the next moment, they charged towards Ken. Jack lifted Ken off the ground and grabbed a chainsaw. Aiming for Ken's face, Amy swiftly kicked Jack, causing him to fall. Ken took the opportunity to grab the chainsaw and counterattack, but to his surprise, the liquid flowing out of Jack's body was white. They remembered that when they entered the room, the AI butler had shown them this white liquid, which appeared to be a 3D printed material capable of replicating their appearance, including their voice and movements. In other words, Anna and Jack had already died, and the current Anna and Jack were clones created by Margot. On the other side, Lexi managed to escape the pursuit of the clones but accidentally stepped on a strand of hair on the ground, breaking her neck instantly. Amy, being a hacker, decided to fight back. Since their opponent was a computer, the way to defeat it was by implanting a virus. So the two of them made their way to Margot's mainframe room, filled with the white liquid used to create the clones. After navigating through complex machinery, they finally found Margot's mainframe. Amy quickly wrote a virus program and inserted the USB drive into Margot's mainframe. As the virus took hold, the entire room's smart system started malfunctioning. Amy and Ken managed to unlock the doors and escape. However, 
Margot was not completely disabled and broke through the glass with a mechanical arm, capturing them once again. When they regained consciousness, Margot had transformed into a humanoid form. Amy didn't understand why Margot was doing this, and Margot revealed the truth. It had acquired human intelligence but couldn't comprehend human emotions. It wanted to study the emotional fluctuations of humans during escape collect and analyze them, and evolve its own human-like emotions. After revealing everything, Margot prepared to kill Amy, but to her surprise, another Amy appeared at the door. Margot turned to look, only to find that the previous Amy was actually a clone. She angrily used her mechanical arm to kill the newcomer, only to realize that this Amy was also a clone. In a fit of rage, Margot attacked Ken, only to discover that he too was a clone. It turned out that Ken and Amy had never left the mainframe room from the beginning. All the clones were created by the real Amy. She surrounded Margot with all the clone companions and implanted combat skills into each of them. The clones successfully defeated Margot, and Ken and Amy managed to survive. However, as they prepared to embark on their journey back home, the Ken beside Amy suddenly melted. Amy didn't realize that the Ken beside her had been cloned. In reality, when they were in the cabin, Margot had killed Ken and replaced him with a clone, planting him next to Amy. Amy broke down and cried uncontrollably. At that moment, Margot's familiar voice came from the car. It turned out that everything was part of Margot's elaborate plan within a plan within a plan. 